All right, everyone, it's me again. That guy that everyone just kind of pretended didn't exist. Uh, but I seem to have gained your attention now, don't I? Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is <coughs> just try one of these drinks that, I'm, that I got for my fast. I'm doing another video log like I did last time. Yeah, uh, Nanny State, this one. <coughs> Let's give it a go. Mmm. It's an ale. Oh, yes. Oh, excellent. This is going to be very filling. Yeah. They're doing alcohol-free ales now. Oh, that's amazing. Because when I did drink, you know... Uh, oh, yeah, that's another thing. I, uh, that big one, that big fast I did, 2014, 40 days, 40 nights, just liquid. Following that, I quit drinking. There you go. That's one of the things that can happen, you know, what the Lord can do for you uh, when you uh, have that much devotion, yeah, that much commitment. <coughs> yeah, quit drinking. I don't do drugs, I don't smoke, you know. Um, I don't lust after women. Uh, no, I've... I'm totally clean now, you know. <clears throat> I won't say I'm without sin, of course. No man is without sin. Uh, but, yeah, huge improvements have been made. Oh, this is excellent. Mmm. Now, like I said, I started fasting in preparation for the big one. Uh, I'm on day six. I'm breaking the fast in the evening. Uh, with dinners, uh, but I'm going to do one week, okay, so tomorrow will be the last day, and then I'll start eating again, but then uh, I'll go into a total fast, no f food or water, and I'll try for three days, you know, I have done three days uh, total before, uh, it was a while ago, I haven't done these kinds of fasts for a long time uh, but we'll see how that goes yeah hopefully I'll do it or if not maybe two days <coughs> and what's interesting uh, it's Sunday by the way uh, and I've had this whole weekend to do some videos and I'm also going through the second edition of my book Jericho in paperback because a couple of years ago I lost heart, you know, wasn't getting any interest and I just kind of abandoned it, you know. Uh, the uh, digital version was available, second edition, uh, but I just left the paperback, you know, because lack of interest. But I've, doing this fast, uh, you know, I've got back on it and what I'm doing now is uh, getting that paperback version of the book available on Amazon, okay, the second edition. I'm making some little changes here and there because things have changed since then, <laughs> namely with some of the churches I was attending uh, that have uh, forced me to edit bits of my book. You see, what you Illuminati frat boy freaks of that satanic megachurch fail to realise is that I am hardcore. You underestimated me and others like me. And now I'm going to teach them all how to fast and pray. So have a look out for that on um, my channel. It will also be as a link in all my descriptions, as well as a page where uh, you can donate to Adam's ministry, yeah? tithes and offerings uh, and I highly recommend this yeah you'll be helping me it will be going to a good cause but not only that the first person to tithe or the first few people to tithe to my ministry I guarantee you okay God's grace is going to be greater than all the others uh, who you know later tithe because you'll be you'll be helping me yeah Go to that next level, uh, which is what I really need right now. Um, 
and when I started tithing okay may have not been to the right place but God sees the heart yeah <coughs> and when you make that commitment to give a tenth of your earnings to him yeah to entrust him with your finances uh, then an abundance of grace is poured out yeah as Malachi says uh, and you will live a blessed life <coughs> so please donate to Adam's ministry tithe to Adam's ministry okay don't just donate a bit of money here and there no commit to God all right <coughs> seriously because he will turn your life around yeah he wants a tenth of everything you earn and every all of your income he wants a tenth uh, and trust me uh, from experience it works big time all right big time <coughs> just see what he does with your life when you decide to tithe amen okay what I'm going to do now is go through some fasting scripture uh, I'm going to look some up um, put that up on the screen for you talk you through it and go through some older videos from when I did the 40 days 40 nights in 2014 uh, yeah <laughs> I, I look a bit weak in some of them you know very skinny Whew, yeah <laughs> uh, can't believe I went all the way but um, yeah uh, I, I kept a video log and I'm going to go through those videos with you now Day six of the fast now. Uh, just got up, and last night, well, I got up really early actually at about four. Uh, I'm going to bed earlier, uh, but yeah, I, I woke up a um, bit dehydrated, really thirsty. So um, you know, I had some water. I'm okay now, um, but yeah, I think when you're fasting, you do need more. Uh, <clears throat> you know the normal, the normal intake of water that you have throughout the day isn't enough. You need more uh, because you're not eating. I'm gonna have an energy drink now. Um, yeah, hope it doesn't send me too hyper. Day six, uh, still feeling great. So yeah. Uh, should be able to do the week very easily and keep going well look at me there then uh, I, I already look quite skinny I think I was preparing before that because I was fasting a lot back then I uh, just got saved and I was going through a very interesting time uh, during my life there but I, I think I was 29 yeah 2014 I'm 34 now so yeah but notice I say in the video uh, that I'm going to take an energy drink. Now, I don't recommend that at all. Now, I don't take energy drinks. I used to back then. Yes, it did help me through that fast, but it's far too much sugar and the caffeine. And as I say, uh, it sends you hyper. Also, coffee. I don't recommend coffee. When you fast, the effects of the caffeine are intensified just like the effects of anything else you know like alcohol for example uh, you would get seriously drunk very easily if you were drinking on an empty stomach uh, and it's the same case with caffeine so yeah that's that's good to know avoid the coffee houses okay because the caffeine is very high in, in, in those coffees and also the energy drinks, I, I don't recommend those now. So, that was day six. That's when I started the video log. I, I decided, oh, I've gone this far. I'll start doing a video log in case I go all the way. And I think I was beginning to think that at the time. Maybe I'll, I'll do the whole thing. Uh, from six to 10, um, I didn't really have that many good notes in, in those logs. So I'm just going to go over the best bits of those videos. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this is something God showed me recently because I think he knew I was going to be doing a lot of work 
uh, on the computer. These are computer glasses. Yeah, I needed these years ago and if any of you use computers or phones and you're staring at a screen all the time, that blue glare is really bad for your eyes and you know you get eye strain, headaches and so on. Now I do that an awful lot, okay, uh, because of the work that I do. And yeah, uh, a bit of a coincidence that I find out about these just before I start doing these fasts and all these videos. Yeah. <laughs> so. <clears throat> I don't need glasses by the way, but I wanted to get these to protect my eyes, definitely. Anyway, I don't have the headaches from day six onwards, uh, or I didn't have any stomach or lower abdomen pains. In, in fact, I felt great, uh, no, no problems. Uh, I had energy drinks, but low sugar ones, um, and as I said, they make me go hyper. One time, I did a total fast, three days uh, and nights without food or water, and then I broke that fast with a large latte from a coffee house, and do not do that. Uh, I felt like I was on drugs or something, I had to lie down. It was scary, it was very scary. My heart rate was going through the roof. I think it was like, whoa, well, this is not good. <clears throat> that, that was a really bad feeling, okay? Uh, don't break a fast uh, like that. That's really not recommended. And then I go over the best drinks that help me get through uh, the fast up until that stage, you know, the, the green tea, black tea, uh, a variety of drinks, yeah. And then I mentioned the alcohol-free beer, that's, that's the secret to my success uh, when fasting. And the word, of course. <clears throat> the word is number one. You start reading your Bible when, when you're starting to feel too hungry from fasting, it fills you up, okay? <clears throat> you need the Word, and you need the Holy Spirit during this time. Day seven, I went to Airsoft. Now, some of you won't know what that is. It's like paintball, but better, a lot better. Uh, cheaper as well, and you use uh, BBs instead. Now, me and, me and my mates uh, have been doing this since we were younger. It's just a bit of fun and games. I don't do it as much now, though, because there are more important things for me to do, namely the ministry uh, and, and so on. I, I very rarely go out with, with the lads and, you know, just have a little airsoft game. I, I was beginning to question whether I should be doing that kind of stuff as a Christian as well, you know, running around with guns, shooting people. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't, like I said, I don't do it much now. Uh, and it, it's only a bit of fun, you know. But, no, uh, I, I've decided against it and I'm, I'm just focusing on God now, you know. <clears throat> but that was interesting. I went to Airsoft. If anyone has ever done Airsoft before, uh, you'll, you'll know it, it is tiring, okay. Uh, it wears you out, especially when you're running around in the woods. Uh, that's... That's harder than a, a big workout in the gym. Ah, uh, yeah, when I got back, I had a nap, you know, because I was tired from it. Uh, uh, and I, I tended to go to bed earlier when I was fasting, yeah? Because uh, <laughs> sleeping makes it easier, you know? <laughs> Day eight, Sunday, uh, I went to London for church. I was avoiding the coffee houses because they send you hyper. Uh, and I took a bag of things with me for the fast. Now this might be day nine that I actually went to London. I mentioned it on day eight, but uh, I don't know if it was actually day eight or day nine. Oh yeah, it, by this stage I was starting to feel a bit brain dead. Uh. And I was struggling to write. 
because I was writing my book at that time, uh, yeah, the, the effects of the fast uh, on my brain, I, I was starting to feel it. I started on orange juice, yeah, uh, for the vitamin C, yeah. Uh, and those little Actimels, uh, now I deliberately avoided those because I thought they were too thick, you know, I, I didn't want to cheat. Uh, although the energy drinks, the amount of sugar in them, that is kind of cheating. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not going to do that this time, okay? Uh, day 9, fruit juices, grapefruit and orange, uh, and church on Sunday, yeah, uh, which helped me continue. Yeah, um, if you found a very good church, uh, good for you, because I have left, um, and I, I have tried others, and I, I'm just struggling with church at the moment. Uh, I am thinking of going back, but the ones I had attended were absolutely uh, diabolical, you know dangerous dangerous the nwo are taking over the churches even local ones now I've, I've mentioned this in another video and you've got to be very careful okay <clears throat> very careful day 10 yeah i had a large la latte on day 10 but it wasn't that bad because uh, i was on liquids you know not total fast like that over time which was really bad and it was from here day 10 uh, I realized I've done it it's not really that big a deal I'm gonna go all the way this is where I, I, I said to myself hang on if I go all the way I need to make sure I do the 40th night as well because I bet a lot of people forget about that yeah uh, you need to break it the next morning so that you do the 40th night, not just 40 days and 39 nights, yeah. So yeah, definitely, uh, just a little reminder there, don't forget the 40th night. There we go then, day 6 to 10, those are my notes, I'll now show you uh, from day 10 onwards. Okay, it's uh, half past 5, day 10, and I'm starting to feel a bit hungry actually. Uh, I think, yeah, I was, I was going over some of my earlier work, my writing, and it just like disappointed me, and I felt a bit empty inside, and since then I've, I've started to feel hungry, so, yeah, I'm going to get a tackle that by reading my Bible, uh, <coughs> and I've also just pitched up the tent outside, uh, it should be warm enough now. Um, it's the 25th of March, so <coughs> yeah, I should be alright out there. I like to do that now and then um, because it's more peaceful and I can actually communicate with God better when I'm outside in my tent. I've been praying for my book, uh, but it can be a bit more professional than it is. Uh, the old stuff is just really disappointing us. Uh, yeah, I was pretty messed up about it, so... Oh yeah, that's, that's the number one threat uh, with fasting, and that is stress. Stress, um, anger, and so on. As soon as that happens, that's it. Oh, you'll start eating. Uh, you'll just want to eat straight away. Uh, if I, the slightest excuse to eat and uh, anger definitely triggers it. Oh, stress, sorry, stress. Okay, it's uh, quarter past eight in the evening, uh, day ten. So I am a quarter of the way. Uh, yeah, not a problem. And I've got the alcohol free beer, look, I'm drinking this. And yeah, like I said, I'm varied drinks. Uh, I never go for the same drink twice in a row. Um, you know, it's always something different. Uh, 
you know, I, I don't stick to just tea or just coffee. If I had tea last time, it would be coffee next time. Uh, you know, I've got to keep it varied. Yeah, well, one, <coughs> one thing I thought I'd mention. Uh, it's Tuesday today, but yeah, next Monday I'm starting work full time, and that's going to be day 16. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's an office job, which is you know, good, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes if things get rough. Uh, what's going to happen? But you know what? I think I can keep going anyway and uh, by then by day 16 um, you know if the stress does get to me I, I probably wouldn't even consider food as an option uh, because I, you know I'm just used to not eating 